What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, we are going to assault, uh, I think, the last, or one of the last Prussian cities. After this we'll be fighting in Paris. And then we will knock them out of the game. So, let us engage, and it's going to be a fairly simple assault, methinks. Uh, the Danish here are not getting involved. We're going to take Amsterdam, we're going to take Paris, and then we're going to take Brussels, and then... We are masters of continental Europe, and that'll be pretty neat. But yeah, quick, let's en enough of the jibber jabber. Let's go and take Amsterdam. So now we've really broken the back of their forces, and we are just barreling across Western Europe. And soon, Britain will be coming for you. We'll be coming for you, Britain, and the Mughal Empire as well. Then we'll be coming for the Mughal Empire too. So, let's attack the right hand side this time. Drop our howitzers in. Although I did, well, I did understand and see in another campaign, this is a pretty effective tactic as well. For attacking the men on the front wall. Or at least this half of it. Or, is it a case of I was about to say, trying to play one on each side, but I don't think that's going to work. So, we want our cavalry at the front. We're going to have Sekban, Sekban, Janissary, Janissary, Nizam, 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 Nizam. These guys are all going to push up and attack the fort. Let's see if we can hide them all in here. go. Why do these guys not want to hide? Oh, There's a very specific place apparently. There we go. These men are all hidden. Nothing to see here. This artillery is hidden. But they're not going to be for long because they're going to open up. Then we've got Forest Aureli and a unit of light infantry to push from the front. Okay. Attack. You guys attack here. This unit attack those guys. Other unit. That's the kind of place I was hoping to hit. A lot of damage to the Grenadier Guards. Bomb the bejesus out of them. Make a hole. Quick blind the hell out of them. Push in my other infantry. Although interestingly, deploying that gun out here does seem to have given it away that there's some troops over here and they are actually holding this wall with more strength than they normally would. Let's speed up time because it looks like we're going to knock down this wall pretty quickly as well. Quick Lime's done some spectacular work. Let's pick another unit because that provincial line unit is almost completely destroyed. Whereas the next volley fires, I'm going to then pick to attack the other side. I doubt they're going to let us get away with it, but it would be great if we could uh, capture and trap a bunch of their guys. Yeah, they really are fortifying this little flank. Do they have mortars? They do have mortars. Don't quite know where the armed citizenry is going. I would presume it wasn't to uh, to sally out and attack us. Let's try and make another breach if they'll let us. We do have to thin this flank out though. Unless we just push from the front, draw their men away. That's an option. In which case then this howitzer on the left probably wants to switch to round shot and do some counter battery work. 
while we push up. Oh man. So if we can slowly keep dragging them away to protect this breach. Yeah, this unit you can just start to hit. I mean it's militia, engineers, provincial line, garrison line. Hmm. Actually, you guys can drop quick lime on the uh, center from over here, nearly. So let's get these guys to also fight to attack the uh, garrison mortar. So I want to see what the first volley of quick lime does. We managed to trap an armed citizenry unit on the wall. First volley coming in. Good, that's actually got most of their gun crews. Well, another one of those, please. Although it looks like they've uh, successfully managed to stop them from engaging, so. Let's run my men up. Let's get my light infantry here. Let's start to thrash the breach with volley fire. Until we can force some of these men away from the walls here. So artillery. Just start lobbing shells over our lines into their general position. My men are going to more than happily open up. So the artillery is just going to land around here. It was supposed to, anyway, it hasn't yet. Quick lime still coming in. Okay, let's pivot you guys. I can pivot my light as well. Let's get my other artillery unit to focus on these guys because if we can clear them out we might just better walk in without even having to assault anyway. I mean it's going to be a bit of a slugfest because uh, they're not they're really not going to rout. Can you aiming at the 12th? That's okay. artillery to engage. And yeah, they're stuck up there. And there goes the file arm citizenry. Let's get them to hit the marines. A lot of artillery coming in. I mean, if you guys don't stop occupying this wall then uh, we're gonna have a way in from the front <laughs> I think that's gonna work there you go the 28th should be reloading to engage 10th foot guards in the flank to hit them in the flank yeah there they go As these men just collapse and fall before the wall. They're not going to be easy to rout. Like I said, because it's defending a city like this, they are actually fairly resilient. Ah, I meant to retarget my howitzer. Do this. You guys can go there, you guys climb the wall here. I 
The next pain infantry aren't going to loiter for very long. I suppose these Israeli can make can assault the breach. These men can hold behind them here. You men can run in. Let's get this light infantry into the armory. Are you going to deploy anyone to fight them? Maybe. Are you even firing? Yeah, you are. Good. Yeah, I, know, I can see the infantry's come back. Okay, pick a new target for this howitzer. Let's go for the guards. Surprise! So this balancing act has to be done a bit carefully. Oh man, that guys just ran in because some of the Prussian infantry just ran in. Okay, let's get my get my cavalry in to go hit. The artillery behind the lines. So my light infantry are inside, so they're going to be firing in all directions. So then let's get... Let's get killing. I don't expect these Israelis to last forever, because they're against a lot of Prussian troops. You guys are going to run around and hit that wall with some support. And these guys, to be honest, are probably just going to hunker down here and wait their turn. I might run the Israelis over here, actually. Because over here we've got our own armoured cavalry in here. So you kill the mortar garrison. Guard engineers have realised what's going on. The Israelis have routed. These lights are likely to get countercharged. These men are trying to kill my guys on the floor, but if they just keep climbing, none of it will matter. So you guys actually fire it well off. Still haven't killed the garrison, look at that. Although we're going to win in 25 seconds, I forgot about that. Oh well. Sorry Amsterdam, you've gone down pretty quick. These men are uh, trying to kill my guys before they can climb, but if they just keep climbing, they'll be safe. Now oh, you, you guys charge into the rear. Unless these Lancer Guards ch charge to the right, we win. What a dumb attack. The men have only just got to the walls to start climbing in and slicing them up <laughs> that's hella dumb hella 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 dumb so let's get some repairs going they don't like us very much but that's chiefly because of the university so let's get rid of that once we get rid of the university actually no, they, they still don't like us. Minus seven. Well, they want to repair all this stuff. That should fix that. 
You guys are still replenishing. Brussels under, is under siege. Uh, I want my spies to continue marching on. You're going to Lisbon. You're going to Madrid. But first of all, let's take Paris and this will be, I think, oh no, the, yes, I think it will be the end of the Prussia faction because uh, this is their last territory. We've successfully smashed through Europe and destroyed every force, every city, every remnant of their culture is no more. So let's... Oh, this is glorious. The big guns go atop the hill. Let's deploy Janissaries, pikemen, Nizam and Chemat to go Oh, damn it. <laughs> Janissaries, Pikemen, Nizam, and Chemat to go through the town. A sweeping force of Israeli can go around the right flank, supported by my cavalry force. Howitzers provide cover fire all the way in. General can give them some support. Just give them fairly generic orders for the moment, just to get them in the town. Our strategy will emerge in due course. Run out my cavalry. engineers in the center it looks like they might be pushing our left so this could get a bit spicy but this is why we have our Israeli force to hook around the flank and why we've got overwhelming numbers of infantry going through the town okay right so you guys better run Sam, you want to get in there. Chemat, you want to get around the flank pretty quick. As do you. As do you. charge the pikes. Be a big frontal attack on these engineers in the town. Yep, they've turned to engage us with musketry. But my janissaries don't care and my pikes sure as hell don't care. Militia, militia, militia. Let's storm in with our cavalry to hit the militia front rank. Oh, dropping quick climb into a friendly combat. You guys charge the militia. Get my artillery to change target and start to bombard their infantry park at the rear. The militia have been cut down. Run the cavalry on, except for the Sipahi, they can hit the garrison the militia. The Swiss line will likely not be cowed so easily. So our pikemen have started to sneak around the flank. Grenadiers charged the militia. Didn't going very, very melee combat happy here at the minute, I do accept. Fire. 
firelock arms, citizenry, Western European mercenaries. Surround and engulf them with my cavalry. Quicklime's coming in a bit dodgy, Quicklime, really. That malicious falling. Okay, let's pick our houses, switch them to round shot, and get them to just bombard the centre. Bring up my general. Big combat on the right. My cavalry's doing okay. The chief target is that Swiss line. Okay, the garrison line have now charged in. Some of these engagements are not actually to our advantage. How it says focus on quick climbing the infantry guards. Okay, good. They've been knocked out. Run some Israeli into the center. The cavalry has smashed their northern front. It's now it's on into the firelock armed citizenry. We're winning over on this front against these men here. They're shooting into the backs of their own troops. This combat's the only one that's a bit funky. Nope, the grenadiers have... The engineers have broken and routed. Charge the Swiss line. It's pulled more men in. Good, you guys can run around this flank so that our cavalry is just on a unstoppable push. Run these men around to here. Run these guys down into here. The Lancer Guards, we're coming! Push around the flank of the city. Some of my cavalry still stuck fighting the armed citizenry, that's okay. You guys swing south and hit the garrison militia. Well, not south, but just swing that way. Oh no, Grenadier Guards, that's a bad idea. Oh well, we've committed to it now. I better win against the Lancer Guards pretty quick so I can get some cavalry in to help them out. The Lancer Guards are holding on, but then again our Lancers are better than their Lancers, so I don't expect that will go on for too long. Enemy General's been killed. The Provincial Line has been broken. The 16th are also very upset. There we go, we've won over here, so just spill this combat onwards to fight the Grenadier Guards. These guys have the garrison militia surrounded. There we go. All that remains are these Grenadier Guards. And this armed um, citizenry back here. Although, like I said, my Mamelukes have probably got that. Swarm my cavalry on into this combat against the Grenadiers. Lots of brave Ottomans are going to die with this charge, but not as many as them. Glorious. They're wavering. And they're gone. As are the armed citizenry. Good. This is a bit of a bloody fight. We lost many, many men. However, I think the sacrifice of our troops has been worth it for the net result of destroying the, the uh, Prussian faction. If my calculations are correct, yes! First of all, let's do our repairs. 
Because bear in mind, France is one of the homes of Catholicism, so they likely will really not like us. Let's get rid of that university. Do they have two? There's a bunch of Swedes over here. They've probably got something to say about what we've just done. Okay, let's build... I might, build, I might even build two madrasas to help speed up the conversion. But that, the presence of those, uh, the presence of those troops does mean that some of these armies, like Ahmad Siri, if you can leave Stuttgart, you need to hightail it west. Because we are on the road to Sweden, make no mistake, but uh, it's going to take a bit of time. So I expect you guys can't. Well, can you? Well, you might be able to leave. Minus three. No, let's leave them in. One more turn. They're on the way. They've got they've got Christiana, and they've got Lisbon. So we're we're on for a few more tangles with the with the uh, the Swedes. For now, it would seem. Um, let's exempt you from tax. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Well, let's take these guys. Oh, actually, you're quite badly depleted. Well, shouldn't we pick recruitment? I think they're pretty depleted too in the grand scheme, but doesn't. Or I could just march you guys around. Very depleted. I wonder if we can just demand their surrender of their final city. I didn't think so. Let's go knock our Brussels, which I also think will be the end of the... Uh, the end of the Danish faction. But what this will give us is an ability to recruit ships to sail some of our armies around to hit Lisbon and Norway immediately. Well, well next turn. Over the next couple of turns. And then knock out Sweden. No skill. No style. No finesse. Straight at him. Artillery sit back here bombarding. Everybody find their nearest enemy and run into them. That's the strategy. It's pretty much set my men to run like that. Set my cavalry into the city. No strategy, no nothing. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Let's actually switch to round shot because quick climb isn't truly necessary. Poor souls. It's not often you set a run order past the enemy front line. That's how much you want to charge them. Just just run. Just pick random troops and just set them to charge. Yeah. On, on, on. Let's stop the artillery. like a grand tidal wave. Okay, you guys. Keep going. In fact, everyone is going to have... I can't even give it. Make sure to turn guard mode off. Just swarm them. Don't bother being clever. Don't bother being smart. Just run in. And my cavalry's connected with their general unit back here. Let's 
only the 27th that's holding them up. Plus the 13th. There go the 27th. And there go the 13th. Magnificent. <laughs> oh, oh dear. But there goes Sweden. There goes Denmark, sorry, as well. Beautiful. So this army is actually in pretty good shape. Go to Antwerp. You occupy the city. Upgrade the dockyard, but let's get some ships on the go. Let's do some upgrading. So we're going to knock down the university at Amsterdam. We're going to knock down the university. Oh, there is no university at Brussels. You can march over here as well, as, as can you. As can you. Cologne garrison probably has to stay where they are for now. Actually, let's get rid of the university at Cologne. I forgot to do that. Awesome. This has gone staggeringly well. But what I do want to do is just start to churn out some ships just to pick up our, occupy our ports. So actually, I really need three here. It's not going mad. We've safely deposited our troops to the south. We've stopped the uh, the Danes from pushing in. The Cagliari is ours. At some point we will declare on New Sweden. New Spain. New Spain, sorry, where we will come in and fight Bastia. I mean, we're at war with Spain as it is, so I don't think declaring on New Spain is going to cause much of a problem. Oh no, they're allied with the Pueblo Nations. Not the Pueblo Nations. Hasn't changed anything over here very much. The big change is going to be when we declare and attack Great Britain. Because Britain's got a lot of colonies around here. But for now, I'm pretty happy with what we've got. And we also need to take out Turin. Utrecht the Magdeburg and Orléans. They're all being destroyed because we just don't need we don't need universities i mean grant on fundamentally once we get sheet lead cartridges we're going to destroy that and then it's going to be just on scotchy actually it might be quicker for kosari to research it because they've got four gentlemen oh well let's hit end turn and see how the enemy respond Phone alarm's going off again. But I think what I'm going to want to do is also start to recruit some proper... <laughs> yeah, they're offering me 23 grand for peace. And they want me to give them some tech. No. We're going to wipe you out, Spain. Spain, Sweden. And Spain, we're going to wipe you out, Spain, as well. Yes, Savoy. Send men away from your capital. They want... Oh, the Mughals want to ally with us? Absolutely not. We need to keep building troops in the Middle East to get ready to attack the Mughal Empire. Because I think most most of the troops we've got are actually going to end up slamming into North America. So, 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 so. Workers on strike in the Netherlands. Now they're okay with us. And let's build a madrasa to help convert... This army's pretty good shape, so I think if, if I could get a ship like this, like this sloop, to sail over and have a look at Lisbon to see how well defended it is. Not well defended at all. We could land in Porto, march south and attack the city in one turn, which is sweet. And then let's see what else that means for us. If you guys hightail it towards Christiana, next turn you're going to be able to siege them. I don't think we can get to Christiana in one turn. 
Tears do. New town emerges. Kasserine has constructed tunis. Cool. So the craft workshop. Keep the madrasas upgrading. Damascus can start to recruit some good troops as well. Uh, okay, this army was going to do something. It was going to catapult to the west, but I think instead it's going to go east. And be one of the uh, forces that's... One of the forces that ends up assaulting along the coast of the Mughal Empire. So let's disembark these ships, these troops, sorry. These men hunker down near Basra. Oop, whoops. Okay, so Baghdad is recruiting an army. You could do with some melee troops. Two melee troops like that. We could get. Hmm. Two grenadiers. Don't need hand mortars yet. Two general two musketeers. Then the rest. Nizam, but it doesn't look like you can. No, there you can. There you go. There we go. That'll be another force ready. Got to keep an eye on our money. Running 128,000 a turn, but we are running out rapidly of things to spend it on. He says, after finding a handful more things to spend money on. Okay, you're going to march up to them. You're trying to bring cavalry um, reinforcements to the Western Front, although it looks like for most of the units you're going to be a bit late. So you march down to the south. This army, even though they are replenishing, is going to uh, sail and hit Lisbon. Because right now they have no troops defending it. Well, they have a small garrison, that's it. I might even try and demand the surrender. Nah. Understandable. But, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for... Pretty much the destruction of the last major Swedish city. The last one being Norway, which will be attacked next turn. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. See you next time.